There's one very clear contender that looms in the background, and that is Chris Cyborg. for you at 145 pounds. Give us your thoughts on the potential meeting with her. You know, I want to fight everybody. If Chris Cyborg is the one I have to fight, I'll fight her. Right now, I really need surgery on my hand. I'm going to get surgery on my hand, and let's see after. If you are going to remain the champion, and USADA is in place, but even if it wasn't, you do not have the luxury of saying yes or no. It is your res nay, responsibility to hold it against the number one contender, who, by the way, is not merely the number one contender, but the biggest fight probably in your MMA career. Women's featherweight division is in flux. We don't know what's going on with the champion, Jermaine Durandamy. Is she vacating the title? Is she retiring? Is she coming back? When is she going to fight? We've got Chris Cyborg uh, banging her drum, saying that she's not getting any respect, that her contract is coming up in October. Two fights left, but it would expire in October if we don't get to that point. Um, the UFC is signing fighters like Cindy Dandwa to fight at 135. There's the Invicta women's featherweight champion, Megan Anderson. Gold Coast, Queensland, Australia, and now fighting out of and representing Kansas City, Missouri. Here is Megan Anderson! I call out this fight a long time because I think she's a 45 pounder and and then this fight supposed to happen a long time ago. You talk about let's make it happen. 